guys, welcome to the MI Gardener Midweek Snack. My name is Cindy, and today we're going to be making a delicious meal. It's going to consist of a mango tomato soup, also a veggie bowl recipe that is super delicious, quick, and simple to do. And just wanted to give you guys a huge thank you for just all of your kindness and patience and checking out our videos while we were on the road trip. I know we were not able to get to too many, it's just the timing was not correct. Some of the farms were actually closed. Um, so we do apologize that we weren't able to bring you more content about it, but however, we are excited to just spring it on with you guys and it looks like it's going to be a fantastic year for the garden and we just really needed some relaxation time over there at Florida. Chicago and Michigan weather was super hectic, so it was just a wonderful treat that we were able to get there sound and safe and make it back sound and safe for you guys. And I hope you guys do enjoy the recipe and stay tuned. Bye! Alright guys, so first let's start with the ingredients. We'll be using some spinach, about a cup or two. And it's going to make a serving of three. And I'm going to be making also the mango tomato soup. So you can use either fresh tomato or the organic diced tomatoes, which is going to work beautifully for this recipe. And also some a mango, fresh parsley, and some raw coconut aminos or soy sauce if you prefer, red bell pepper, and also your rice of choice. In this case, I'm going to be using brown rice, but you can use either white rice, wild rice, or combination, and also some paprika, some Mrs. Stash, no salt seasoning, and some salt optional. So while the rice of choice is cooking, we're going to be chopping all of the veggies, such as the mango, the red bell pepper, and we're going to strain those diced tomatoes so we can make the mango tomato soup. and. We're going to put it all into the Vitamix blender, mix it, just some, it's about half of the mango and the juice of diced tomatoes. And we're going to be using the other diced tomatoes just to kind of marinate them with the soy sauce and that's going to be used for our veggie bowl. So while that is happening, we're going to just wait a bit and add some other seasonings to marinate it a little bit more with paprika. Some nutritional yeast, which is optional. You guys definitely should look into the health benefits of adding that. And also some Mrs. Stash. So the mango tomato soup is ready. I just added some sprigs of basil. Now after it's marinated and your rice is ready, we're just going to build this veggie bowl. I put at the bottom some rice and then after that I put in some spinach chopped along with some fresh parsley. And after that we're going to keep on adding veggies such as the diced tomatoes are really nice and marinated in there. It's just a great way to just layer them and have a really cool experience while eating it. And you just keep on layering up some more rice after that and then you're going to top it off with your mango your fresh red bell pepper and also a little bit more of parsley and if you guys do want you can add some salt um, just as necessary and optional and it's going to create actually three servings of this size i used about two cups of rice to prepare this meal and i use absolutely no oil no butter it is all extremely low fat and it's really really nutritious a lot of veggies fiber and it is a very beautiful concoction as you guys can see and don't be shy in trying it out. Alright guys, so now it's time for the taste test. I'm super excited. Let's first start with the mango tomato soup. Let's dig in. Mm. Wow, this is super creamy. Even though it has absolutely no dairy, butter, 
nothing at all milk it's super creamy the mango really adds that creamy consistency and it just tastes just straight up like creamy tomato basil soup it's super yummy and ladies and gentlemen you do not have to complicate it in order to make a spectacular savory dish just try and experiment and see what can come out. Um, something like soups and gazpachos are very simple things that you can experiment. And if you mess up, you mess up and you just try again, right? So now let's start with the veggie rice bowl. So I did layer it just because I wanted it to be a difference in experience every time you dig in. It makes it a little bit more fun. So. Now let's see into this one. Hmm. It's so delicious. And you really do not need to add a lot of seasonings and look at that. It's like a layer of just beauty and Help. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the Emma Gardner Midweek Snack. It's truly a pleasure to just bring all these delicious recipes to your home. And if you guys do want to try them out, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want more videos like these. And as always, just have a positive outlook this week and don't let yourself get down too easily. And we just look forward to growing an amazing garden with you all and seeing you guys what you do too. So until next time, you take care. Bye.